Russian air defenses downed two Ukrainian MiG-29 aircraft in Donetsk region over the past day, the Russian Defense Ministry said in a statement on Sunday. According to the Defense Ministry, apart from MiG-29 aircraft, Russian air defenses also destroyed 50 Ukrainian drones, 23 US-made HIMARS rockets, two Tochka U missiles, a Neptune missile and three French-made Hammer air bombs in the past day. The ministry also claimed that units of Battlegroup Center took control of a Manskoy settlement, which is 25 kilometers to the northwest of Donetsk and had less than 180 inhabitants before Russia's full-fledged invasion of Ukraine. Furthermore, the Russian Defense Ministry said that the forces of the 23rd and 24th Mechanized Brigades of the Ukrainian Armed Forces and the 109th Territorial Defense Brigade were defeated near Novgorodskoy, Yevgenovka, Rozovka and Novosyolovka Purveya in the Donetsk region that is controlled by Russian troops. Over the past day, Russian tactical aircraft, unmanned aerial vehicles, missile forces and artillery units hit AP-18 radar designed to detect and track aerial targets, as well as Ukrainian troops and equipment in 103 areas, the statement reads. It added that units of Battlegroup North continued to advance deeper into Ukrainian defenses, hitting the forces and equipment of the 57th Motorized Infantry Brigade and the 92nd Assault Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, the 36th Marine Brigade, the 125th Territorial Defense Brigade and the 13th National Guard Brigade near Meli Prokhody, Gatish, Lipsy, and Neskuchnoi in the Kharkov region. Neptune missiles expand horizons. Analysts commented the results of first Neptune strike on Russia. The strike by Ukrainian Neptune missiles on an oil terminal near the Kavkaz port in Russia is a historical event, Defense Express noted. Here we have a literally historical event because this is the first time domestic missile weapons were used to attack targets on the territory of the Russian Federation, the analysts pointed out. Secondly, the historicity lies in the fact that the very fact of carrying out an attack on the terminal in the area of the Russian port of Kavkaz indicates a significant modernization of Neptune, experts added. It is noted that this modernization could consist of increasing the launch range, increasing the mass of the warhead and improving the guidance system. Analysts have suggested that Neptune's actual launch range could now be more than 300 kilometers. In addition, it should be noted that the Lion's share of the probable flight route of the Neptunes to the Kavkaz port area was supposed to lie over land. In order for the missiles to fly in such conditions, it was necessary to significantly improve the guidance system. Defense Express added, Let us remind you that the general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine reported that on the night of May the 31st, Ukrainian fighters struck an oil terminal near the port of Kavkaz in the Krasnodar region of Russia. It was reported that the strike was carried out by several Ukrainian-made missiles from the Neptune Coastal Missile System. The capabilities of the domestic navy are gradually growing. The head of the Center for Strategic Communications of the Defense Forces of Southern Ukraine, Dmitry Pletenchuk, spoke about this during the telethon. The Navy Rocketeers have slightly expanded the horizons, relatively speaking, of their activities. The Ukrainian Neptune is also gradually growing and, accordingly, its use may change. We have already seen the work of the system in Crimea. And yes, you can see it. There is effectiveness. The Ukrainian missile program is showing serious results. We are proud that we have actually become pioneers in this area and that it is the Navy that has such a successful practice in using these missile systems, Pletenchuk said. Two small planes crashed midair during an airshow at Beja Airport in southern Portugal on Sunday, killing a pilot, the Portuguese Air Force, PAF said. The incident occurred 180 kilometers south of Lisbon and involved aircraft from the Yak Stars Aerobatic Patrol, described as the largest civilian aerobatic team in southern Europe, by the PAF. The patrol includes Portuguese and Spanish pilots. 
The killed pilot was Spanish. Another pilot has been injured. The show was organized by the Portuguese Air Force.